while back, Peter McKinnon uploaded a video that he called the all-in-one wireless studio every filmmaker needs, which consists of a camera, some lights, and a microphone mounted on a stand that you can move around. So what if you could have all of this in a much smaller and more portable package? That's what Movo iVlog4 Smartphone Bundle sets out to do. Hey, it's John Bear. So happy to see your beautiful face. And today I will unbox the bundle, test it, and then let you know if this is the kit for you. First off, who is this kit for? Well, it's for anybody wanting to create online content. It is perfect for someone starting out as a content creator. The bundle is a sort of all-in-one solution for aspiring YouTubers, TikTokers, Instagrammers, you name it. Let's break down what's in this kit. A clamp for your lens, a lavalier microphone, wireless transmitter and receiver which come paired, adjustable smartphone holder with level adjustments, smartphone mini tripod, feels solid made out of metal, a wide angle lens for smartphones, feels sturdy like a real lens for a DSLR camera, a Bluetooth clicker button to take photos, the metal frame used to mount everything, a portable LED light, handle extension rod, USB-C cable, and 3.5mm audio jacks, both for smartphone and DSLRs. The manual is great. It's printed on large paper in large letters and it's easy to follow to get you set up. Let's do a real quick assembly. What I really like here is the amount of cold shoe mounts on this thing. You could add nearly endless stuff to it. Even my professional camera cages don't have as many mounting points as this little frame. The frame also acts as protection for your smartphone if you should drop it. Hey, how are you doing? So now you're on the tripod right now. You're mounted with the whole gimmick setup. Looks awesome. And now we're gonna do a range test with this wireless microphone. If it's actually good, I'll use this a lot. If it's bad, well, it's gonna go into the junk with my Sokani wireless transmitters because those did not work well for me. All right, let's go. <clears throat> testing, testing. So one thing about these things is that uh, a lot of times there's interference when you're walking and there's wind now today so let's try not to get the wind interfering. So it should be fine now, I'm standing still, should be fine, should be fine. But let's see if I keep talking while I'm walking, maybe, maybe it's being, you know, disturbed, you know. Sometimes it's also fine as long as the transmitter has a line of sight, you know, that's important. All right, I'm all the way out in the grass now. Oh, and my mom is probably angry at me right now because I didn't cut the grass yet. Oh, look at all these weeds growing. Anyway, can you see me now and can you hear me properly? Is the sound good? What if I turn around and you can't see the transmitter? Is the sound good now? Mmm, is it good now when I'm blocking the sound? Do you enjoy my ass to grass squats? Ah, oh, ooh, all right. Um, should be fine. Should be fine. Well, I'll, I'll review the audio if it's fine. I mean, now I'm so far away. This is beyond practical application. So where you would use it normally would probably be somewhere around. Let's see. Like, let's say you're following someone, you're recording them. I guess this would be like the max distance. This is how much is this? I'm really, I'm really bad at judging distance but um, I guess this is like 10 meters something like that not bad all right let's go back let's check the video let's check this audio does it sound good does it sound okay when I'm walking you tell me all right let's go all right I'm using the video feed as intended right now and uh, the light I'm getting a lot of natural light from this side it looks pretty good of course so I don't really know how much this, this mounted light is doing right now. Hey, you can see me. I'm holding the thing. I got everything hooked up. I got the wireless audio. The wireless it goes into my pocket right here. And uh, the sound is pretty crispy. I was just listening to myself in the garden just now. And uh, it sounds good. Like, I'm surprised. Like, um, I've tried cheap uh, wireless transmitters before. That was just awful. It had a bit of a warbly sound, like some sort of noise gate built in. But this one, I don't get that problem, at least not yet, from just listening to the smartphone. We'll see when I edit this footage. But for now, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Like, not just pretty, I'm pretty friggin' impressed. Uh, will I use this transmitter? Well, 
If it's the quality that I just experienced when watching back the footage, then yeah, I'll, I'll use it. Um, I'm actually interviewing a guy later today. I might, I, I might even use it for that. I'll, I'll have some backup audio just in case. How does this look, by the way? Does this look like professional? Like, does this, is this what you want to look like when you're walking around doing your vacationing? I mean, for sure, if you're a professional blogger, TikToker, or whatever social media content creator, this is pretty handy. This is really, you know, all you need, and it packs down pretty neatly. Um, smartphones are getting so good these days. I, I happen to use my iPhone a lot. And so this could help me a lot in the future. What up? So we're uh, on our way to Dubai with uh, flight tickets. Yummy. So now I'm trying out the vlogging pod um, in action on an airport. Most inconvenient place ever. Great, but now I can't film anymore. So see ya. We're going through security. All right, just finished going through security here in Iceland. And the guy asked me, do you have camera equipment? <laughs> And I just said, a lot. <laughs> Alright, we just landed in uh, Copenhagen. First stop on the way to Dubai. You know, we, don't, we can't fly straight from Iceland, obviously. <laughs> well, not yet. Would be nice. Oh, you're filming? <laughs> oh, so you're recording the audio for me? Ah, how's the sound? If I'm standing over here, it's working. Yeah, we don't have time. Let's go. All right, so we've been accepted on the flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha 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 ha! And it's lunchtime, so that means Emirates will be serving their delicious lunch. That's always nice. So looking forward to that. All right, Yay. so we are in uh, Copenhagen. We made it through the security. And once again, I was stopped because I'm always stopped. I feel like uh, that scene in The Matrix when uh, Neo walks through the security. And For me, it's like the camera equipment equivalent of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bumped my shoulder. <laughs> Ding. Mm, very good. So now you hear me talking, and you hear me talking, you hear me talking, because of the wireless sound. But you don't hear Kana talking. So we got this. A lot of duty free, baby. That's the wide lens I'm testing right now. The attachment. And uh, now I'm gonna take it off. Yeah, it does the job pretty well. All right. But then if I switch to the actual phone wide, let's remove that you get an even wider look. It's so wide, you can see the little knob of the cage on the left. So if you have an iPhone uh, with a wide lens, then you really don't need this thing. Like this is with it on the wide lens. It's, uh, you get a little vignette here. So going back to the regular lens, putting the wide lens over it. And for comparison, going back to the wide, it's very similar, very, very similar, except you don't need, you don't need the attachment. Yeah, this attachment. So the attachment is really cool. It's very well made. It feels uh, sturdy. Very useful if you have a phone that does not have a wide angle lens. I like the look from this one a lot. But unfortunately for the iPhone 12 Pro, it is uh, not very necessary. Final thoughts. Like we established, the wireless sound is fantastic and reliable. I even used this on an interview shoot recently. Wireless audio setups have been pretty pricey in the past, but with this one you can get great audio for this low price. The audio from this mic is even so good it can pick up the audio from the person standing next to me. The company that made this bundle, Movo, sells these transmitters separately for about 100 bucks, and I really recommend them now. 
As for the whole bundle, it's like your YouTube studio in the palm of your hand. If you're filming with a smartphone, that is. And although I personally use professional cameras a lot, I am using my iPhone more and more because of the sheer convenience. The phone clamp is also really cool. Being able to rotate it vertically is really useful, especially because so many people make content for TikTok or Instagram where the vertical video is king. If you're somebody getting into making videos online, this bundle is a cheap and effective way to use your smartphone with high quality audio, nice lights and good mounting. You could even take this cage and pop it onto an actual tripod to have even more mounting options. For 200 bucks, it's a solid package. Will I use it personally? Yeah. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Uh, if you did like the video, make sure to hit the subscribe and the notification bell to support the channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm John Bear and I make camera equipment videos, but I also make travel videos. And lately I've been talking a lot about the Icelandic volcano. So if you're interested in volcanoes, then make sure to check out my series on that. Uh, we have an expert geologist that comes on to explain uh, the, the volcano. Coming up on this channel is a review for a cinema lens for Micro Four Thirds cameras and a series of travel vlogs where we travel around the country with the Happy Camper Camping Van Company. Lots of fun stuff up ahead and uh, like I've told you in this video, I live in Dubai now for at least a year, so definitely if you want some content from Dubai, you got it. That's it, again I'm John Bear and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.